Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I have an Ulta haul to share with you guys. I don't have any updates in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way really fast though. So I guess I do have an update. I haven't filmed a video in like, I think it's a little over two weeks. Honestly, I don't have an excuse. I just haven't been feeling it. Like I filmed maybe three videos and I didn't like any of them. So I think I was trying to force myself to film when I wasn't really feeling it and I never want to get on camera and try to put on, if that makes any sense. Try to make myself feel happy when I'm just not happy so that is why i haven't filmed a video in like a little over two weeks with that being said i have so much stuff to talk about like i honestly have videos planned for a while because i have just been picking up and trying out so many new things i just have a lot to share with you guys but in today's video i'm going to be doing an ulta haul like i said previously so these are just things that i have picked up here recently and i've had to share with you guys if you guys love shopping if you guys love makeup if you guys love all the good stores victoria's secret marshall's tj maxx ulta sephora that type of thing this is definitely the channel for you feel free to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time i upload a video but other than that let's go ahead and get started with the haul so i guess we will start with the fragrances that i have picked up i have three to share with you guys in this video so the first one being this one from ariana grande this is the new mod vanilla perfume so i actually showed the blush mod in a previous video so if you guys want to see that one which i'm sure you guys have already seen it but this is what the box looks like i always keep the boxes mostly to my perfumes especially these from ariana grande i don't know i think they're really pretty but this is what the box looks like i really do enjoy the other one but again this one is the vanilla one so this is what it looks like it's the exact same packaging as the other one this one's just white and the other one is pink had to pick this up cannot wait to try it out i've been waiting to like film this haul video before i try it out and it's been killing me because i have a lot of stuff i'm just really excited to try that's the first one that i had to share with you guys the next one is an older one and i have tried it before i just never owned it in a full size so i wanted to go ahead and pick it up i think when i was picking up these perfumes they had a point multiplier so that's like the best time to buy your fragrances those points rack up really fast this one is the ari by ariana grande again i have had this before just never in a full size and i absolutely loved it and since there was a point multiplier i thought again i couldn't pass it up so this is what the bottle looks like i picked up the full sizes in all of these really really pretty i love this for an everyday use i think it's really pretty it smells really sweet really really girly so if you're into those types of scents i highly recommend it which this is nothing new i'm sure you guys have probably tried this or smelled it i just had to pick this one up the last perfume that i picked up is one that i had never tried this is the cloud 2.0 so this is what the box looks like i love the original cloud so i just wanted to try the other version i think i got carried away because of the point multiplier this honestly completes my ariana grande collection i have every fragrance except the thank you next i used to own that one but i returned it because honestly I didn't really love it but this is what 2.0 looks like really cute packaging it has the same packaging as the original cloud it's just a different color variation it's darker this is what it looks like cannot wait to try this I don't know how much of a difference this one is going to be to cloud so I will definitely update you guys and let you know what I think super cute packaging though so now I guess we will talk about the makeup because that's what we all love I know but this is the new Too Faced palette this is called Pinker Times Ahead and this is what it looks like this is the same packaging as the two film palette if you guys are familiar with that one i know i've definitely shown that one here on my channel but this is what pinker times ahead looks like and you open it up so this is what you have going on honestly i think this color story is really similar to the two film the only difference i can tell this one doesn't have like a mint shade in it like the other one but it's very similar you probably don't need both unless you're just a collector like me and you love testing out new palettes and things like that this is a really cute palette but again i don't think it's that different and i cannot wait to try this one out and see about the quality i heard that the quality on this one is better than the two film with that being said, they also came out with the cutest blushes that you have ever seen. And what's funny about this, I just had to throw this out here. I thought it was really funny. I picked these up as soon as they come on the Ulta website and nobody was talking about these blushes. Nobody. I have seen no YouTubers. So I have had these blushes for a good while now. And then they just like popped off because there is a really bright pink blush in this collection. And I know a lot of people are all about the bright pinks, which is funny because I just had to throw it out there. I have always been about the bright 
pinks when it comes to lips and blushes. Like, I was wearing it before it was cool. I was wearing it before it popped off. The blush that went pretty viral in this collection is called Candy Clouds. So, let me just show you the boxes. I picked up four shades, and this is what they look like. The boxes are absolutely stunning. It just has, like, these pastel pink and blue clouds. Really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me of my shirt. So, the one that went viral is called Candy Clouds. Again, I think I already said that. We will talk about this one first. So, these look like little macaroons, in my opinion, if you guys are familiar. They look like little macaroons. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I never even had a macaroon. Macaroon? Am I saying it right? But this is what it looks like. It is the cutest packaging that you have ever seen. This is the size. I'm trying my best to show you guys the size. It's definitely not the size of like a Too Faced bronzer in this packaging, but super, super cute. This is the one that people are saying it's kind of hard to get a hold of at the moment, but this is Candy Clouds. Really pretty, bright pink. It kind of reminds me of the blush that I am wearing right now. Super, super pretty. And again, I cannot get over this packaging. Super cute. So, if you guys aren't familiar, which I'm pretty sure that you are, pink blush is all the rage right now, especially this really bright bubblegum pastel pink. Super, super cute. And these boxes are just too cute to throw away. I have to keep the boxes too. So, the next shade I have here to talk about is called Watermelon Rain. Again, it has that same packaging. And I could be wrong, but I feel like this is the deepest shade in the collection. So, this is what Watermelon Rain looks like. And here's what it looks like when you take it out. I think this is really pretty if you have deeper skin, but it seems like people of a lighter skin tone are really into these bright, bold, poppy blushes. And what I mean by that is if it looks really, really dark, people are still into them. I don't know. I just feel like everybody's blush heavy nowadays. So, this is really, really pretty. Cannot wait to wear this. I feel like it's going to be really pretty for the summer as well. Even the last one I showed you, really pretty for the summer as well. And then I also have this one to share with you guys. This one is called Tequila Sunset. And this is what the packaging looks like on Tequila Sunset. So cute. And here is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty peachy shade. And the last one that I have to share with you guys is called Golden Hour. There are two more shades in the collection. I only picked up four of them. But this is what Golden Hour looks like. Super, super cute. And this to me looks like a NARS orgasm shade because it looks like it has some like a sheen to it like gold. I don't know. I could be wrong. But this is really reminding me of NARS orgasm. This is what it looks like. This may be one to go with if you guys love that shade from NARS. Moving right along, I have this to share with you guys from NYX. This is the Avatar palette. They've done a whole collection with Avatar, and a lot of people was complaining that the price on this palette was too high for it being NYX. I think it was like 40 or 40 something dollars, but I waited and it went on sale. I think I got it for 31, which it's still high for NYX in my opinion. I just thought that this was very unique. I don't know, something about it. I really wanted to test the formula out on this. So, this is the outside. Really, really cool, especially if you guys are an Avatar fan. And then this is what the inside looks like. This packaging glares, but this is what the shades look like. I'm trying not to let it glare. Really, really cool. Again, something about this. I just really wanted to try it out and test this formula out. But I can understand if you didn't want to pay full price for it because I didn't really want to pay full price. But then when I seen that it dropped a little bit, I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and try it. And because I purchased something from NYX, they actually sent me some freebies. And these are pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and share these with you guys. They sent the NYX HD Finishing Powder. And this is translucent. So this is what it looks like. I haven't tried this one before. They sent the, the Brow Glue, which I know this went pretty viral. And I haven't tasted this out. So I'm really excited to try this one out. It's not the colored one. It's the one that's just like translucent. So really excited to try this out. They also sent me the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And this is the white one. I'm pretty sure it should be called Milk. If you guys are curious, but it's literally just the white one. I know it used to be called Milk, but I'm not really sure. I don't see a name on it. Yeah, it's called Milk. I just seen it. So I've had this before and I really do like it. I like to use it as eyeliner. They also sent the Filler Instinct Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. So this is what it looks like. I'm really excited to try this out because I want to know if this is like the Too Faced one, if it burns or how it feels, if it's more like the Buxom one, if it has like a cooling sensation or if it's just a little tingly. I really want to know. Or it could just be like a regular lip gloss. It's absolutely nothing other than add shine. So really excited to try this one out. And then they also sent me a mini size of the matte finishing setting spray. So this is what it looks like. That was a really nice little freebie because most of those were full size. All of those were full size except the little spray. Moving right along, I'm actually wearing this because I couldn't wait to break into it. I have tried these out. I have a good amount of shades in my collection and I talk about them all the time. They are literally my favorite glosses ever. So this is from NYX and this is the This Is Milky Gloss. I picked up the shade called Cherry Skimmed. I had 
I've been wanting this shade for a while. Now, with the lip liner that I'm wearing today, it looks more brown, like a nudie brown. It's definitely not a nudie brown. It's like a, definitely a nude shade, but it's like a mauve nude, if that makes sense. This is what it looks like. I wanted this shade for a long time, but it was always sold out in source, so I had to order this one online. I love these glosses. I wear the pink one, like the pink milky gloss. I wear it all the time. I think it's called Milk It Pink or something. That is my absolute favorite. I love these. These are just really shiny glosses. They feel really comfortable on the lips. They don't feel too thick. Just a overall nice formula. This is like better than high end in my opinion. The last things that I had to share with you guys are all lashes. I was on a lash kick and I had been wanting these kiss lashes and then they went on sale so I had to pick them up. This is a collab with Meredith. I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm not going to say it. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. If I was guessing, I don't know who this girl is, but if I was guessing, she's probably a TikToker because brands collab with TikTokers like crazy nowadays. This is in the style called Diva. Again, it's with Kiss. So this is the first style that I have to share with you guys. Really, really nice. I cannot wait to play with these lashes. And then she done a style called All Nighter. And this is what All Nighter looks like. These are so pretty. If you're into really pretty full dramatic lashes, I don't know if you can still get these. I would say that you could, but I don't know because I've had these for a little bit now. The next style that I have is called Flutter. These are really, really pretty as well. Super nice. And then I also have this style called Angel Eyes. And I don't know, these might be my favorite. Really, really pretty. Cannot wait to try these out. I like to have them on hand because I'm always needing lashes. And especially if they go on sale, I love to pick them up. In my opinion, you can't have too many lashes. But then I also picked up these. This is in their normal line. These I, where is the name? I'm trying to find the name on these. But these are really popular. I do know that. This is what they look like. So it just says Naked Drama Lash Couture Naked Drama Collection. Full and fluffy volume. I can't find like the style on them. I wanted to be able to tell you guys. But for some reason I wanted to say they're called like Ruffle or Ruffle. I don't know. I could be very wrong on that. But this is what they look like. And let me know if I'm just overlooking it. But this is what they look like. They're super pretty. I've heard a lot of people talk about this specific style. That these are their favorite so I'm really excited to try these out and then I don't have it with me it's actually already in my makeup drawers but I also picked up a lash glue from duo because you guys can fight me on it all you want to but I do not like the kiss lash adhesive that's probably a very unpopular opinion but I honestly cannot get that lash glue to stick for me I don't know what the deal is I will always be a duo lash stand at heart like that's my favorite glue it's about the only glue that works for me but other than that that is everything. I think that is everything that I have to share with you guys in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I just want to thank you guys so much for being here, liking and commenting. I will be back very soon with another video. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!